Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. Okay, so today I thought I'll show you how I made these. Um, so they're just like little, you could wear them as toppers, you can make them as little tuck spots. So they're just um, using up scraps again. So it's just a bit of recycling. So what I've been doing, I've got all my little bits of recycled cardboard. So these are from like the, the tea and bits of packaging. And then what I had left over were all these bits. I'm going to pop those to the side. Were all these little bits and pieces which you cut, cut off the lids and the sides and everything that you normally throw away. So I thought I'd make something with these. And this is what I've been doing. So let me get that to the side. So all I've done, I've layered them all up. Um, and then I've popped a napkin over the top as the background. A butterfly and a word embellishment. So I've just done that on all of them. Bit of gesso on there as well. And you can see they're sort of like dimensional on here. And I think they look really, really nice. And it's a really good way of using up your scraps. And I thought that would look lovely as a tuck spot um, in a journal or on a topper, on the front of a journal. So if you pop that on there again, you can have, let me get a piece of card have that and just have it as like a little tuck spot in your journal and I think it looks really pretty and this one here I've just used um, just like a little metal corner it was a bit damaged so I've just bent it around the side like that and popped it on there so you can put that if you've got a nice grungy journal or anything you can just use that and use that as a lovely little tuck spot so I thought they were really nice and then that's one of my little bee cap flowers on there so I thought these were really pretty. So you can use them, you can pop it at the top. So if you have one of the, the, the um, edges which is quite flat, they fit on your page and you can just tuck that up in there. And I thought they look really nice. So it's a good way of using up <clears throat> lots of little bits of um, the scraps and nothing goes to waste. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. I'm gonna pop these to the side. Um, and they've come out because I've got gesso and everything on them and, and glue. They've gone really quite hard. So they're really, really good. So here I've done a few. This one I've actually popped on some tissue paper, which looks pretty, doesn't it? Which looks really nice. This one here I popped gesso over the top just to get them ready. And this one here. So try and keep a flat edge on them. So if you wanted to put the, that at the top of the page and have that as a tuck, You've got, and you can have it on either way, um, either side of your pages at the tops and bottoms. So you've got a level, um, straight edge. This one I've just cut, uh, covered with some like kitchen paper, um, because what I thought we could do, on like on this one, you don't have to put a napkin over it. You can just put ink on it. So I've just used some of the ink on that one, um, and these ones. Whoopsie daisy. These ones I've just covered with gesso. So they're, they're already white. Right, so what I'm going to do, pop those to the side, I'll show you what we do. We we'll just take a bunch of these, all the little leftovers. Again, I've got, wrong one, I've got this. Now this is the golden regular matte gel medium. Um, it's a matte heavy body acrylic medium. I've got a link to it under my video um, and it's brilliant. It's really, really good. So I'm loving using this. So all I do, I take a little cocktail stick because then I can throw it away um, and then I just dip in and use it like that because it's quite thick, it's lovely and it's a really good one for sticking heavy stuff down. So just take a little um, piece like that and then just start building it up. So if you have a straight edge, depending, it doesn't really matter where you stick it. Um, I'm going to just stick this down the side like that now I've just got a piece of um, it's like parchment paper underneath just so I can just pick it up and throw it away afterwards because I do make a bit of a mess doing this so just take bits and just put layers of it on just wherever it goes doesn't really matter just pop it on and stick it down just like that Oops. Bits of glue, stick them on. So you can make them as big or as small as you like, depending on what you really want um, to achieve. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to make 
lots of these and I'm just going to leave them white. I'm just going to cover mine with gesso to start with and then I can, when I put them in a journal or have some way of using them, I can pop a napkin or some paper or colour them to the right colours. So there we go, easy peasy. So just pop that on like that. Okay, let's get rid of some of that gel. So easy peasy, couldn't be easier, just random sticking. And then what I've done, put that to the side. Now if you're going to just ink it and colour it, what you want to do is just um, pop some tissue over the top, like that, just anything, even the back of a napkin, you know the white bits that you don't use, just pop that over the top so um, it sort of like holds everything down as well. Um, but what I'm going to do on this one, I'm going to actually pop a little bit of gesso on top because I'm going to pop a napkin over the top of it. So I want it to be all really the same colour underneath. So just paint over it like that with a bit of gesso. If you haven't got gesso, use some white paint. Um, any acrylic paint will do. So it's just a nice little easy Monday morning project for you. Start of the week, get nice and messy, um, get yourself ready for the week and just do a bit of um, sticking and gluing. So that's done like that, oops, so there we go, like that. So what I'm going to do, instead of drying that, I'm going to just use one of these. I've already gessoed over the top of that. I'll pop that to the side. Right, so I'm going to have a bit of napkin. So just use, if you've got napkins that are, um, you've got bits of napkin, it's perfect for using up all the little bits. So let's have a look, should we just stick that on there like that? So let's just, so that's the bit you can use um, if you're just going to paint them like that. So that you will just stick on there like that. So I've watered down some um, Mod Podge in here. A little bit of Mod Podge, so it's sort of like um, a third water to two thirds Mod Podge I normally use just so it thins it down a bit because it's easier to use then. Pop your napkin over the top like that and just stipple it down just so it sticks nicely like that and then you can get in all the little grooves like this and then what you want to do a little bit more glue just go around the edges like this and then that will just tear it off easily it's like putting water on it All the other bits are going to be tucked underneath as well if you've got any little bits. There we go. So I don't know whether you can see. You can see the layers on it, look. So it's like little, um, like little steps going up. And I think that looks really nice. Okay. Perfect. Pop that in there, pop the lid on. Okay, I'm gonna give it a quick blast so see if I can dry it quickly. Oops. Okay, so that's pretty much dry on there. There's little bits, but they can be. What you can do is get a little nail file and just it just files off quite nicely. Okay, so that's done. Now I'm going to get a little bit of gesso. Like this. Let me get my paintbrush. A little bit of gesso like that. And then just go over it just a little bit. And you can see it brings out the little um, marks on it and the little layers that you've got on there. 
it. Obviously you don't have to put gesso on if you don't want to. I'm just going to just dry it again. Perfect. Okay, so I think that looks really nice. It's a perfect little tuck spot. Right, I've got a couple of my little butterflies. I just love butterflies, so lots at the moment I've got butterflies on it. This is from one of my Word um, digital kits. So that looks quite nice. Or oh, I can have a lovely little butterfly on here. Pink one looks nice, doesn't it? And these are the words that I've got, so I'm just going to quickly cut one out. I've been using these words, I've had to print them off so many times, but they are there to print and they're fantastic. Just a nice little word, which tends to go with lots of different things. Right, where's my little dauber gone? ink the edges like that and pop that on so easy peasy look at that a little bit of the gel medium again you don't have to use the gel medium use whatever glue you've got so that you can just sit there it's just bend the wings around just a little bit blob there and stick that on now you can embellish, embellish them as much as you like but I think that looks really nice like that how pretty okay so if you just wanted to use pop that to the side this one I've actually just popped on look at the mess it is on the back just the nut this on here which is just the kitchen paper on top of that so if you wanted to just ink it pick up whatever color ink i'm actually going to do the first one i've got so this is the peacock feather i'm going to show you i'm going to pop a little bit on my top on the desk there you probably can't see that but i'm going to pop some water on it and then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to paint this over the top, just like this. So obviously do it whatever colours that are going to blend in with your, your project that you're doing. Like that. Okay, I'm just going to dry this. we go then I'm going to get the gesso that's dry and then I'm just going to go over it and it just picks up the bits that are um, higher up if you know what I mean just like that so it gives it a really really lovely texture So start off, when you use the gesso, or you can use it with a little bit of white paint, just do a very, very thin brush over the top. It's almost like dry brushing. Like that. And you can see, I hope you can see sort of like the texture in there. I think it looks really nice. So have it either way you want to have it. So that looks nice. Now we can put... Let's have a look. Oh, I've got a little blue butterfly here. Obviously, you don't have to use butterflies, but I do like butterflies. Look at that. So that looks nice. The contrast in that is lovely, isn't it? Yes, I like that. I'm going to edge these a little bit. Just like that. another way of using up all your little leftover bits of cardboard Oops. So how pretty is that I'm going to just stick this down because I like that on there I feel 
little bit of glue. Put that on there like that. I haven't backed these ones with anything, um, so they just stick down really well. And then a little bit just on that little butterfly there. And again, this glue, this um, gel matte medium is really, really strong. So look at that. Doesn't that look lovely? And that looks really pretty. So there we go, guys. Perfect little um, embellishment. So there we go. That's two. And I love that blue. I think that's really, really lovely. So it looks lovely in a journal. So there we go. So these are the ones that I did previously. And again, use your metal embellishments on here. I'll pop the link to the little flower ones that I made. Um, and they are lovely little um, additions to your journals. Where's the other one? And that one's really pretty there. So there we go. So a good way of using up all your little leftover bits of card. Um, so nothing gets thrown away. All right, guys. Well, quick little video for you nice recycling um please do um subscribe to my channel if you haven't um i come up with all sorts of little bits and pieces um from um my digital kits to journals um to embellishment so um if you're subscribed to the channel you will be notified of each video that i put on so there we go guys have a wonderful week um and i will see you next time all right bye bye mm -hmm.